Hello and welcome back to Math Tea UK. October 2017 I went to France carp fishing. I was robbed of two very very good catfish. This year I've actually got some dedicated catfish tackle and I'm just going to make a couple of rigs dedicated for catfish alone. Uh, I'm determined not to lose them this time. Join me for the short video on how to tie a couple of very easy catfish rigs. Welcome. Some of the stuff we need to be looking at when you're making dedicated rigs is everything scales up massively. The hook size, the bait size, the pop-up size um, and also the hook link as well. I'm using um, a Kevlar, 70 pound Kevlar um, cat link. It's cat from Catfish Pro. Never used it before but I think it's supposed to be a really good quality one. Kevlar is very good at abrasion, anti-abrasion, so it should really resist the frame, which is the problem I got last year. Um, also the hook size, I've got a bent point special hooks, uh, again from Catfish Pro, these are size 6. I'm also using um, some 22mm halibut pellets, I haven't drilled them yet, I'm going to drill them in a minute. And I've got some, I think it's a 22mm pop-up that I'm using too. Before we continue any further, I just want to show you something. Um, for, oh, I do need a glass of water like this one, so I'll move that out of the way. And uh, I need a 22mm pop-up. And as you can see there, the pop-up is doing its job, popping up. And I've got my hook. Now what I'm going to do, that is just water. My gin's over here. Of course. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this, I'm just going to pop this hook through the pop-up there a little bit and now I'm going to place this pop-up with the hook in the water and as you can see that sunk straight to the bottom. So in this glass I have my hook and pop-up only, nothing else and the pop-up is still falling very very light but it does fall and, and basically that means I don't need any putty, I don't need anything but the pop-up, the 22 pop-up with that hook means it's very very light it is pretty critically balanced there so that's a very very good balanced hook so we know our pop-up uh, and our hook do not need any uh, extra um, putty or weights to take them down, keep them onto the bottom and the reason I say that is because because you're using pellets Sometimes they can dissolve a lot faster than you would want, especially in warm water. And we are going in a very, very warm time. So it would be ideal to have a pop-up, something which is going to last, something which is going to hang around for quite a while. And should your pellets um, disappear too quick, dissolve too quick, at least you still got something fishing. You're still fishing with something, you still got a pop-up. Now you may say, catfish don't go for pop-ups. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Catfish will go for single bait pop-ups. They certainly do. And uh, with that in mind, with that experience in mind, I will definitely, definitely um, make sure that my pop-up stays on the ground. Also, this um, cat link also sinks. It's a sinking line. You, braid. you don't want one that floats for obvious reasons. Before I do anything else, I really need to look at the pellets that I'm using and I need to drill the hole through the middle of it. Now some pre-drilled pellets can be, um, the holes can be quite big. Um, that means that you've got a lot of water getting in behind the pellet and so your pellet is dissolving from the inside as well as the outside so it's going to break down a lot quicker and in warm environments, warm water, you don't need that so the smallest hole you can put in there the better and I'm just going to use one of my um, little tiny drill bits that I've got and go through it that way and hopefully that will minimise the amount of water that is getting in to the pellet that way. It all sounds a bit silly but I, I guess there is some logic in there somewhere. So let's get on with that then, let's start and let's 
uh, start drilling these pellets. Sometimes the older methods are much more efficient. And there we go. That now is a much smaller hole than I would get should it be purchased pre drilled. Nice and tight, and about the same diameter as the brain I'm using. You could say to me, are you going to do that every time you hook, you create a new hook bait? Well, yeah. Why not? Doesn't take that long. Cat or cat fishing isn't a race, is it? Right then, we've now got our pellets drilled. We know what pop-up we're going to use. We know we don't need any extra weight. Uh, we've got our braid, so the simple we've got to do now is tie our hook and uh, using a knotless knot and the same hair as I would with a with a cart rig we're just going to go for it. The only difference being I'm going to use a, a larger hair stock than I would normally use and I've got one in my um, oldie roadie style tackle box over there. So here we go then we're all ready to make our rig. You can pretty much guess what's come in to be fair we want about 20 to 24 inches. I've got an area marked off on the bench that gives me an approximate area. It's not an exact science, but at the price of this stuff, you don't really want to be wasting it if you don't need to. So cut off about 20, between 20 and 24 inches and put it to one side. And then make your small loop at the end. A little bit tricky making these little tiny loops. They can, uh, they can be quite difficult sometimes, but what you really want is as small as loop as you possibly can uh, just to hold your hair stop now sometimes you can use the aid of your baiting needle just to pull the loop through and then tighten everything down One thing you can note about Kevlar catfish link is that it doesn't burn. So there's no point trying to seal that end off with a with a lighter, it won't make any difference whatsoever. But what will come in handy is the big knot. Close the gate and pull it through. Now because it's such a big knot, it holds inside the pop-up so we can fix our oversized hair stop. And pull it down. There we go. Usual script. If you've got a longer baiting needle, you can do both of them at the same time, but if you haven't, it doesn't make any difference. There we are, very simple. We're going to use the knotless knot. No different from setting up your carp rigs. You don't want it touching, but you want it very close to the point. Start wrapping away from this end where the hook is, where the wire is bent round. And do, I don't know, as many wraps as you are happy with. And there we are. That is it. Not much else to it. How you decide to tie this on is entirely up to you. Whether you're going to use a, a large swivel, whether you're going to have a running rig, or whether you're going to put a figure of eight loop. Um, I don't know if you know what a figure of eight loop is, but let me just explain. You do a standard loop, start it like a standard loop, but then you go round the back and then through. That's 
pretty much it really. Um, how can I enhance that further? Well, last year I used squid, and, and within 24 hours of me being there, I had five runs on the squid, um, but my rigs weren't uh, working too well. I was learning. Now, all I would simply do is perhaps using this bait elastic that I've got here, I would probably take some small fragments of uh, squid or some stinky fish, uh, and then simply just elasticate it to the flavours I've already got there, and um, again, enhancing that even further. And, and then glugging it all and lob it out there and see how we go. Uh, plenty of flavours, plenty of temptation and if it works for me you'll soon know about it on the next video of when I go from France. So that's it, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you got any tips for me that's great, um, keep them nice and simple. If you have uh, or you know a video which would really assist me and that would be better still, um, point me in the right direction, I, I certainly don't mind, I'm not confessing to know uh, a great deal about cat fishing, I don't, I, I don't at all, I, I've, I've fished for cats now for about 18 months, uh, but not dedicated, not really, um, I've, if I know there's cats in there I'll put two rigs for carp and one for cat, um, I've been doing that for a while, um, not much success in the UK, did fantastically well with it in France, and I hope to do it again. I am actually going down to Bluebells uh, Fisheries and we're going on to Swan Lake for a five-day session soon um, at the end just after the May Bank holiday somewhere around about then um, we're, we're going down quite a few of us and I think I'm gonna try this rig there see how we go with it I know there's a big cat in there, I don't know where they are, I don't know anything about where they are on, on uh, Swan Lake. So if you know good areas for Swan Lake where the cats lie up, a tip wouldn't be minded, you know, I don't mind you sharing a bit of experience, that would be great. Okay, that's it, I'm going to knock on the head there now, short and sweet, thank you very much for joining me. Um, like I say, any dramas, give me a shout. Any problems or you see anything wrong with what I've done, let me know. Uh, if not, tight lines everyone and I'll see you soon, bye bye.